Good morning guys. Right, I have been teasing you lot about a fish tank. Now, it's a little bit clickbaity, but it's the best I could do. And I have the one thing I've really missed in van life, hand on my heart, is my fish tanks. I absolutely miss them completely. And I am going to fix that as soon as quarantine's over and lockdown's done and then we can all move around freely and go here, there and everywhere and mingle with everyone. That will be fixed. I've got a plan. But in the meantime, this is my fish tank. <laughs> Look at it. So last week you saw all of this, my charging station. Um, I've added to it and tweaked it a little bit. So let's go through it, shall we? So straight off the bat we've got, that's the charging station that you know that you saw, which a lot of you liked. If we come down, we've got my Bestwick, uh, Bestec um, inverter. So I put that there because there was free space here completely. So I thought, well, what should I do with it? So I put the inverter on there, which there's the plug for it, and it'll just go in there. Um, currently that's plugged in for all that. And then I had the August portable 10 inch TV screen, which I reviewed in one, one of my previous videos about which TV to have in, in van life. So I thought, okay, I'll put that there. So I've done that. I've taken the, the, the stand off the back. I've Velcroed the back. And then if you just look here, there's a Chromecast. I've attached a Chromecast to the side. And that is wired down under there. You can just go straight to the modes, go to that, and then you're straight on Chromecast. So then I could actually play, it's just gonna show screensavers at the moment, but I could actually play anything like YouTube, Netflix, um, Amazon, Amazon videos, anything that you can run through Chromecast through your phone, you can run through this and it's got sound and everything. I've downloaded a few videos and put them on SD card for my fish tank. So I've got a few fish tanks. So we've got tropical fish and we've got marine fish. So this is my marine fish, my marine fish tank. How good is that? And you've got sound. So And I can just sit, I can just sit at, w at the desk, just there, chilling out, whilst that's playing, and I've got a fish tank. No cleaning, no feeding, no devs. Brilliant, no maintenance. <laughs> come on. I know it's a bit clicky and all this and that, but come on, is that not good? Right, let me turn the volume down. Don't wanna make you pee <laughs> with all the water sounds. But the best part is, you can do this not just with fish tanks. If you go on YouTube and you can search for like four hour videos, three hour videos, eight hour videos, and then I've got a log fire, which I'll show you in a minute. I've got drone footage. Um, there's, there's uh, I think there's hamsters, there's bird cages. Like, so if you, if you wish you had a pair of cockatoos or something, or a pair of lovebirds or something, then you could, there's videos out there where people have just videoed for like five hours straight or two hours straight, whatever and then you can put them on, on your little monitor. So I mean, if you had a little tablet or a little screen like that, you could put it on your wall and then you can have, I know it's as best as, as you can come to, as close as you come to, you can have like a hamster or, or a bird or, or a fish tank or marine fish tank or a log fire, roaring log fire, no cleanup, no hunting for wood. That's not what she said. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, really, come on guys, how cool is that? So let me show you the log fire. And I know you're all itching to see it. So we've got log fire. And by the way, um, a few people asked about how this is gonna hold up actually stuck to the wall. I'll be brutally honest with you. I'd done this weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks ago. And yeah, it's not moved an inch. But look at that, there's my roaring fire. <laughs> and it's pretty cool, I will admit, because I can have my fire here and then I could be sitting on the sofa here an evening, just chilling, 
just chilling. And it's, uh, it's got a very nice atmosphere. It's got a nice ambiance, shall we say. But whilst I'm here, I might as well show you the rest of my setup because I've done quite a bit lately. I'm kind of given up to the fact of me tidying up after myself, tidying up my gadgets because it just doesn't work. So I've got these boxes because I did store some gadgets here which are like the camera gadgets um, and hard drives and things that I'm using. Um, I keep them out all the time because I'm always using them. I'm fed up of putting them back in the cupboards then having to get them all out so I kind of put them all there but it was getting a bit messy so I just got these I've got two tubs as you can see so that is all my camera gear in one place camera gear gadgets hard drives you name it stuff that I'm using on the daily um, and then they just sit there in the corner out the way in line with the desk so not not taking any space but they're nice and neat then we've got the laptop, um, and that's just standard. Nothing's, nothing's new there. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, and then I've got this, this arm, which leads all the way to hold my tablet. So now, my tablet, there's a little bit of a dirty screen there, needs to clean. My tablet and my phone are now in you know station you know, they just stay where they are so my, my desk's clear for me to for to, to work on my desk um i've got you know space here to do stuff i've got a little anchor sound sound core there so if i want some surround sound either from that that or that it can bluetooth to them all um which is pretty cool um let's go back to my fish tank i like my fish tank yeah, look at that. Look at that. So yeah, this is the whole the whole setup now, guys. So gadgets over in the corner, um, all nice and neat. I've got the power oak down there. Uh, John's done a massive review on all three of them, um, which. He's tested them all three. I haven't tested the other two, so I would definitely. I'm going to link to that now, up here. Um, I'd definitely go check that out if you're thinking about them, because my review will only be just on that. Straight up, that that power oak is brilliant. Um, it runs my laptop. It runs runs cameras. It, run, it charges everything. Um, it's got a 300 watt inverter in it, and yeah, it's brilliant. But like I say, Gadget John has done a really good review of all three of them. If you're thinking about one of them or you want to know more about them, click the link up above or in the description below and go view that one. So moving on from there, I've got a little extension there for the TV and for fans. And then, I mean, it's a complete command center now. Complete command center. And people were saying about maybe this failing, like the Velcro. Let me just say that them Velcro, um, Remote controls have been up there since probably day one or week one of me moving in the motorhome. So, yeah, no problem with them uh, falling off. None of them have ever fallen off. And they're just stuck there all over, all the same Velcro. So, yeah, I think you can see, guys, it's looking pretty sweet setup now. Everything's on the wall, all out of the way. So I've still got space. I haven't got route through cupboards for chargers and all that. And I've got my, got my fish tank. <laughs> yeah, I've got my fish tank. Right, I'm probably going to receive a little bit of stick for this video, but hey, it's all in good fun. Um, I don't really care, to be honest. I've got a fish tank and you ain't no 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 no. If you've got any comments, drop them, drop them down below. If you've got any questions for Motorhome Mondays, drop them down below um, or on last week's video if you want. Feel free to email me at darren, D-A-R-R-A-N, at theobermotorhome.com or hit me up on Instagram in the DMs. Slide into the DMs. <laughs> That's what they all say, isn't it? That's what the cool kids say. <laughs> right. Apart from that, guys, take it easy. Have a great week. Love you all loads. Bye.